Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow Keyblade wielders, winter has arrived. And that means only one thing if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. The Dark Road finale is soon to be on its way. And I cannot wait to find out exactly how Xehanort began his descent towards darkness, along with a variety of other questions. Like, who is his surviving classmate out of Erd, Hermit, Braggy, Vor, and Balder? What happened to the missing seven upperclassmen? And what does Kyrie's grandma have to do with all of this? Because she really seems to have a lot of knowledge about the time of Union Cross and Dark Road. Specifically, she talks about how children rebuilt the Lost World. That's... That's a lot of knowledge for an average grandmother to know. There's also a few other things, like Master Yan Sid. He talks about a time that he walked alongside Master Ericus and Xehanort as Keyblade wielders. But yet, we haven't seen this in Dark Road. And, in fact, we haven't even seen Master Yan Sid wield a Keyblade at all. So I would really like to see this addressed in, in some way, shape, or form. Let's see him wield a Keyblade, potentially as one of the seven missing upperclassmen, and maybe an event so devastating happens that it forces him to hang up his Keyblade for good. And how could we forget the infamous scene in Kingdom Hearts Remind, where Xehanort speaks with the Master of Masters, and his true identity is revealed? Because that scene is going to happen in Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. It won't be in as good of quality, but we're gonna get the answer to the question that we've been searching for for a long time. Now, whether or not that actually solves his identity is another question, because we may just get a name drop, and that name may be a hint as to his identity, but it may not actually confirm it. The Dark Road finale won't just set up how Xehanort began his ascent towards darkness. It is also going to introduce Phase 2 of Kingdom Hearts, as well as the entire concept and the world of Quadratum. If you remember, in Melody of Memories, Yen Sid was having a conversation with Kyrie, Mickey, Donald and Goofy, all them, and he said that Xehanort looked more deeply into this world, referring to Quadratum, a world that the ancient masters had crossed over into. So that has to be touched upon at some point. After all, Dark Road is Xehanort's story. I'm also really curious as to ultimately how many episodes the story of Kingdom Hearts Dark Road will have. Earlier on, I was thinking it would have about five episodes. I was thinking five would be fine. But now that they've had a few months to work on it, I think seven. Seven seems like the perfect Kingdom Hearts number for the Seven Guardians of Light to flesh out the story in its fullest, explore how Xehanort began his descent towards darkness, as well as the issues of Quadratum and Phase 2 of Kingdom Hearts, and answering all of our questions. But if you have any answers to the questions I pose today, feel free to leave them in the comment section below maybe hit like or subscribe. But otherwise, I want you to have yourself a fantastic day. May your heart be your guiding key. And happy gaming.